interview, an article about you, um, I don't know if you remember this, but part of your quote was you said that um, you felt like you might have fallen off the map a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I'm assuming in, in the industry of like MMA. Yeah. Do you still feel like that now? No, it's it, what, what I mean by, by falling off the map is it's like, I, I'm in a different organization now. I'm, I'm fighting for Strike Force. These guys are really taking care of me. Now I'm fighting for Affliction. I'm not on the mainstream UFC show, so I haven't really been on TV that much. Yeah. And saying fall off the map is like, when, when I run into my daily fan that hasn't, you know, last time you seen me fight was back in UFC time, you know, like, you're still fighting. And that's, like, that's what I mean by fall off the map is that my normal, they're not my hardcore fans, but they're a fan of me and they don't know what's going on. They just don't see me on TV. They don't, they don't, they don't know that that the UFC is not the only organization out there that's taking care of fighters. We got Strike Force. We got, you know, we got all these other different organizations. And Strike Force right now is, is my home and taking care of me. Now that I'm, I'm with Affliction as well, you know, there's people need to understand in the sport that there's other organizations, there's other promotion companies. Right. And that's you know you gotta you gotta get work where the work is good. So speaking of TV, I um, heard you were on Miami. Yep. So tell me about that. How did that come about? Okay, that was a good friend, a good friend of mine. Uh, Mike, he asked me, he goes, hey, you know, we need to build your brand. You know, I think I can get you on a show. I said, we, we, are you willing to get a tattoo? And I'm like, yeah, I guess I could. Uh, was it your first tattoo? No, it was my second tattoo. Okay. But to get on TV and do it, you know, get a, get another tattoo, I wasn't ever expecting to get a tattoo. Uh -huh. My first tattoo is from my old boxing coach. He gave it to me for my birthday probably seven, eight years ago. And it hurt like hell. And, and I always said, well, do you want to get another one? Ah, I get it, you know, whatever. And then a week later, he's like, we're going to we're going to Miami. You're going you're going to be on the show, so there we go. We go to Miami to be on the Miami Ink show, and got another six hour tattoo. It was fun. It was different. You know, being there. You know, you're being on the other side of the production where you're, you're seeing how the show revolves and stuff. It was really neat. I got it. You know, I kind of asked a lot of questions. Got into you know, getting into videos and stuff. I was asking all the camera guys, hey, what, why do you do this? Why do you do that? And what's the lighting? And then when you watch the show and how they put it all together, that's what I was like, wow. Well, I said that, you know, I did this after this, you know, and they just kind of just made the storyline. That was pretty cool. So did they just let you get whatever kind of tattoo you wanted? No, I had an idea. Uh -huh. You know, I, w I wanted to give something back to my family. Like mm -hmm. what I got was a koi fish and that symbolizes uh, a, a orange and black one symbolize family and, and, and struggles to get up. You know, what is a koi fish will go upstream to the life, to its life and struggle to reach its, the pond, the lake to turn into a dragon, mm -hmm. to reach its, you know, its, what, destiny or something, something mm -hmm. like that, and that's why I got a koi fish. And then I put my symbol in the back of it. It's it 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 different, you know. It's personal to me. Plus, it's on my it's on my leg, so it's you know nobody really knows I have tattoos unless you know me. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of personal to me. I don't have it on my arms or anything like that. I'm not that kind of guy. Nice.